So welcome all of you again. So this is a question from September 2020. Okay. So the question is one question number one B. What is atomization in powder metallurgy? Explain gas atomization method in powder metallurgy. Okay. So uh, that is from question uh, question paper September 2020. So explain atomization uh, in detail powder metallurgy and what do you mean by gas atomization? Explain the explain the working of gas atomization method in powder metallurgy. And the marks is actually five marks for this question. okay so the first part is the about atomization atom the first part is what do you mean by atomization so in powder metallurgy we are actually uh, preparing products from the powder from the powder from the metal powder so the first step is the you have to prepare the uh, powder of that metal okay so the raw material for powder metallurgy components is the metal powder first we have to first we have to prepare the metal powder that is the raw material for powder metallurgy components. So these powders are to be produced to precise specifications to make them suitable for further processing. So we have to prepare the powders to precise specifications. Then only we can uh, process it, uh, pro further process it. So various methods are actually available for the preparation of metal powders and among these most common method is the atomization so there are various methods for preparing the powder metal powder and atomization is the most common method for preparing the powder which is used for the production of nearly 80 percentage of the total volume of powders atomization other two widely used methods are reduction of oxides and electrolysis among all these methods atomization is the most common method for preparing the powder so what is atomization this is the most popular and versatile method available for manufacturing metal powders so in this method we can uh, make powders of most of the metals and alloys so we can prepare we can prepare the powder of most of the metals and alloys with the help of this atomization method here the molten metal first we have to prepare the molten metal and this molten metal is converted into a fine spray of droplets and this fine spray of droplets which solidifies into small particles to form a powder here the uh, molten metal is there we have to convert this molten metal to fine spray of droplets and that droplets that will solidify into very small particles and you will get the powder that is the that is the basic working in atomization any material that can be melted can be made into powder form by the disintegration of the liquid any material that can be melted can be made into powder form so uh, that is the first step so the first uh, first uh, in in this question the first portion is the what do you mean by atomization okay then then the next is the gas atomization next is the gas atomization so in gas atomization here high velocity stream of gas so here uh, here you can see this is the molten metal here uh, you can see the gas so here high velocity stream of gas is allowed to flow through an expansion nozzle so here this is the expansion nozzle which siphons the liquid metal from the crucible below and as the metal as the liquid metal comes up and this high velocity uh, stream of gas uh, will um, uh, sprayed into this container in the right side this is the container this is the container this is the crucible here you can see the you will you can see the molten metal and here in the left side you can you can see the high velocity stream of gas so as the liquid metal comes up this high velocity stream of gas is carried away by this high pressure gas and is sprayed into this container this is the container 
and this spray here because of this spraying the because of this spraying this spraying process creates tiny droplets of metal so here here you can see some dotted lines this actually represents the tiny droplets of metal and this will solidify into powder form and this powder is collected in the in this chamber in this uh, container you can see this is the container and and once this this um, this uh, uh, this tiny droplet solidifies and you will get the powder and this powder is collected into this collecting chamber so that was the working of this gas atomization so here uh, here uh, you have to draw this figure in the uh, in the answer answer sheet because this figure is very very important okay when you explain this gas atomization you have to explain this gas atomization with the help of this figure so the main important points are the collection chamber the the gas the high velocity stream of gas with the expansion nozzle and this is the siphon and this is the crucible um, here the crucible uh, below and here you, you can see the molten metal or the liquid metal so once again the working is this high velocity gas is used to convert this liquid metal into fine spray the air or inert gas is allowed to flow through the expansion nozzle which siphons the liquid metal from the crucible below as the liquid metal comes up it is carried away by this high pressure gas and is sprayed into the container as shown in the figure the spray process creates tiny droplets so here you can see some dotted lines this dotted lines represents the tiny droplets of metal which solidify into powder form another method another method is the this is the second figure so here you can see this is the molten metal and this molten metal is reaches to the gas nozzle by way of gravity here this in the top you can see the molten metal container or this crucible okay so from this from this this uh, molten metal reaches to the gas nozzle by the way of gravity that is the point so here here there is a siphon and when this this high or inert gas is allowed to flow through an expansion nozzle this uh, which siphons the liquid metal from the crucible below so here this molten metal reaches to the gas nozzle by way of gravity and the gas or air, uh, air jet immediately immediately atomize the liquid to form nearly spherical droplets of the liquid metal so here here the shape of this droplet is spherical shape okay so there are various uh, various uh, shapes spherical irregular acicular dendritic etc so here here the shape of the from the gas atomization the the shape of the particle droplet that will be the spherical this is very very important the gas or air jets immediately atomize the liquid to form nearly spherical droplets of the liquid metal and the droplets cool down to solid solid powder particles which are collected in the chamber provided so here in the bottom this is the collection chamber once this um, once this uh, droplets cool down to solid powder particles and that powder particles will be collected into the collecting chamber so this is the working of this uh, gas atomization so two figures this is the first figure figure 1.1 and this is figure 1.2 so figure one in in 1.2 the molten metal reaches to the gas nozzle by way of gravity okay then what about the process variables so what are the what about the process variables are jet to distance jet to pressure jet to means this gas this high velocity this high velocity stream of gas this is called a jet so this this jet to distance jet to pressure are very important process variables then no what about the nozzle geometry then velocity of gas the the velocity of this high pressure high high velocity gas the velocity of the gas and the temperature so these are the process variables the, the process variables are jet to distance jet pressure nozzle geometry and velocity so if you want a finer powder pressure will be higher or smaller jet distance higher pressure or smaller jet distance produce finer powder the atomization as uh, i already explained the shape of the powder particle is uh, spherical powder particles so the atomization method produces spherical powder particles with the relatively smooth surfaces and this method is suitable for high speed steel titanium super alloys and uh, reactive metals okay so this was the uh, working of this gas atomization so once again i will show the question paper once again
okay so here uh, here you can see uh, what is atomization uh, here the question is what is atomization in powder metallurgy explain gas atomization method in powder metallurgy okay so uh, first you have to uh, define what is atomization okay atomization uh, is the uh, most common method used for the preparation of the powder you have to explain all those things then explain gas atomization okay so what do you mean by gas atomization you have to draw two figures that is the first figure and the second figure okay then explain this gas atomization so from the gas atomization the shape of the powder particles will be spherical shape with the smooth surfaces so that is the uh, that is the question okay so this question is from september 2020 what is atomization and uh, explain gas atomization okay the marks is actually five marks okay maybe 2.5 marks for this atomization and this uh, 2.5 marks for this gas atomization or or maybe two marks for atomization and three marks for this uh, gas atomization method okay so you have to write all uh, these important points when you write this atomization as well as this gas atomization method in powder metallurgy okay thank you